Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about murder. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of murder is Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. It says, You shall not murder. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of murder is found in Matthew chapter 5, verses 21 through 22. It says, You have heard that it was said to the ancient ones, You shall not murder, and, Whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I tell you that everyone who is angry with his brother without a cause will be in danger of the judgment. Whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be in danger of the council. Whoever says, You fool, will be in danger of the fire of Gehenna. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. It reads, God blessed Noah and his sons, and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you will be on every animal of the earth, and on every bird of the sky. Everything that moves along the ground, and all the fish of the sea, are delivered into your hand. Every moving thing that lives will be food for you. As I gave you the green herb, I have given everything to you. But flesh with its life, that is, its blood, you shall not eat. I will surely require accounting for your life's blood. At the hand of every animal I will require it. At the hand of man, even at the hand of every man's brother, I will require the life of man. Whoever sheds man's blood, his blood will be shed by man, for God made man in his own image. Be fruitful and multiply. Increase abundantly in the earth, and multiply in it. Passage number 4. This is from Romans chapter 13, verses 9 through 10. The scripture says, For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there are, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love doesn't harm a neighbor. Love therefore is the fulfillment of the law. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Numbers chapter 35, verses 16 through 33. The Bible says, but if he struck him with an instrument of iron, so that he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. If he struck him with a stone in the hand, by which a man may die, and he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he struck him with a weapon of wood in the hand, by which a man may die, and he died, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. The avenger of blood shall himself put the murderer to death. When he meets him, he shall put him to death. If he shoved him out of hatred, or hurled something at him while lying in wait, so that he died, or in hostility struck him with his hand, so that he died, he who struck him shall surely be put to death. He is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when he meets him. But if he shoved him suddenly without hostility, or hurled on him anything without lying in wait, or with any stone, by which a man may die, not seeing him, and cast it on him so that he died, and he was not his enemy and not seeking his harm, then the congregation shall judge between the striker and the avenger of blood according to these ordinances. The congregation shall deliver the man's slayer out of the hand of the avenger of blood, and the congregation shall restore him to his city of refuge, where he had fled. He shall dwell therein until the death of the high priest, who was anointed with the holy oil. But if the manslayer shall at any time go beyond the border of his city of refuge where he flees, and the avenger of blood finds him outside of the border of his city of refuge, and the avenger of blood kills the manslayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in his city of refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the manslayer shall return into the land of his possession. These things shall be for a statute and ordinance to you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Whoever kills any person, the murderer shall be slain based on the testimony of witnesses, but one witness shall not testify alone against any person so that he dies. Moreover you shall take no ransom for the life of a murderer who is guilty of death. He shall surely be put to death. 
you shall take no ransom for him who has fled to his city of refuge, that he may come again to dwell in the land before the death of the priest. So you shall not pollute the land where you live, for blood pollutes the land. No atonement can be made for the land for the blood that is shed in it, but by the blood of him who shed it. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of murder, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on murder. Passage number 6 is from Exodus chapter 21, verses 12 through 15. It says, One who strikes a man so that he dies shall surely be put to death, but not if it is unintentional, but God allows it to happen, then I will appoint you a place where he shall flee. If a man schemes and comes presumptuously on his neighbor to kill him, you shall take him from my altar, that he may die. Anyone who attacks his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. The Bible says, Whoever hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of murder is from Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. It reads, Now the deeds of the flesh are obvious, which are, adultery, sexual immorality, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Leviticus chapter 24, verse 17. The passage states, He who strikes any man mortally shall surely be put to death. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of murder is from Genesis chapter 4, verses 8 through 16. It says, Cain said to Abel, his brother, let's go into the field. While they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Yahweh said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? He said, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Yahweh said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. Now you are cursed because of the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. From now on, when you till the ground, it won't yield its strength to you. You will be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. Cain said to Yahweh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me out today from the surface of the ground. I will be hidden from your face, and I will be a fugitive and a wanderer in the earth. Whoever finds me will kill me. Yahweh said to him, Therefore whoever slays Cain, vengeance will be taken on him sevenfold. Yahweh appointed a sign for Cain, so that anyone finding him would not strike him. Cain left Yahweh's presence, and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of murder. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to murder, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.